Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been a long time that I, when I haven't uploaded a video, I've just been busy and been editing videos too, so I'll have some up soon. But I'm just making this video because if, for those of you who have been to my house, you know that there's a huge pine tree in my front yard. For those of you that live in my area, you'll know that it's been raining a lot and it's been really windy. So, something kind of bad happened. It didn't hurt anyone, nothing bad. Nobody got hurt or anything. Just kind of, yeah. That big tree fell. Completely uprooted. Yeah. Let's take a closer look. I'll, I'll, it's a little bit closer. Let me show you. So I just came down. I was up there before. Now you can see it completely uprooted. The roots are broken. Just good. The, the it's really moist. It's like mud now, so it couldn't really didn't do a good job of holding it in because of all the rain. The roots. This is the base of the tree. And there's the thick part of the tree, all the branches and everything. Hang on, let me just... Ugh. So yeah, completely fell over. All the branches are right here, which really sucks because there was also the one drain for all of the rain that's coming down was literally right where those branches are. It completely covered it up. I'll show you in a little while. And there, if you could see, it's my dad's mixer for, you can hear the wind right now. I don't know if you can, but yeah, it's my dad's mixer. It completely got crushed, pushed into the ground. The tree fell right onto it. Along with this other smaller tree right here, Actually, I just remembered in my in my bully video, you could probably see the tree when I fell over, along with this smaller tree, kind of in the background. I think I don't know if you can see it in that video, but yeah, it, this tree completely fell on the smaller one, covered up the clogged up the drain entirely, along with the pipe that the water goes through, and totally crushed my dad's mixer. On the bright side, though, no cars were affected. The fence over there I don't think was affected that I'll show you in a little while. And then this big truck over here wasn't affected either. Here, let me climb on top of it now. Oh, jeez. I've been trying to climb this tree for a long time. Now since it fell over, I can just walk up and... Which is... It sucks. You know, it's pretty cool. I guess that I can walk up it. So yeah. See, you can hear this wind right now. You could see it. You could see the wind on the grass and everything, all the trees. So much wind. There's palm trees right now. A ton of wind. So I can understand why this. Crap, what was that? I think another branch or tree or something just fell. I'll check it out in a little bit. I'm up here though, so. Completely fell. I guess because of all these, the pine needles and everything, how thick it was, it just acted as like a tarp or something that the wind just kind of pulled down and it uprooted since the mud was, all, or since it was all mud now because of the rain too. So yep, yeah, here it is. There's the tree, the, old, the other tree, the smaller one. It used to be there, it's not there anymore, obviously. <laughs> and there's my dad's mixer, let me try to climb down. I'm gonna climb that way. Ugh. Okay. So I'm standing pretty much on top of my dad's mixer, you can see. 
There's where it crushed into the ground. Yep. Luckily though, this truck wasn't affected at all. That wasn't affected, it wasn't affected over there. I don't know if it, I doubt, I doubt that it bent any, anything down there. But yeah, pretty much unaffected. Oh goodness. Jeez. Also, there's these smaller trees right here that I'm just seeing right now. This also happened. The tree fell pretty much on this one also. Barely missed it, but it still got it pretty good. And, uh, I'll show you those in a little bit too. I'm just looking on the inside right here. So let me just, I don't want to put my hands in sap. I already put it in a good amount of sap. Here it is, my dad's mixer, because he... He works in, he does stucco work. My dad works in stucco, so he, that's where he puts all of his stuff in, then, like the powder and the water and everything, and then that he, he mixes it. Here, look, if you can see that part right there, that's the inside of it, as you can see. And that part, like, spins, rotates, like this, mixes all of it together. So yeah, that's completely crushed. Drain is completely drained. I mean clogged up, I mean. <laughs> drain is drained, but yeah. Drain is completely clogged up. And fell on the street. You can see it didn't hit my dad's truck, which is good. Nobody parks right there, which is also good, except my friends when they come over, but we were gone, so. We were gone when it happened. We got home like 20 minutes afterwards, like after it happened. So, yep, no friends were over, no one was parked there, no cars were affected. But yeah, that tree was affected, my dad's mixer, the drain is clogged up, which about the drain, I have no idea what it's gonna be like when it rains because of, because pretty much when it rains, here, let me get down, I'll show you this. stopping, looking at it. I heard that all the neighbors came over and everything. One neighbor actually came over while I was here. Just checking if anyone was okay and whatever. No, like I said, nobody was hurt. Still. Plus, look. If you guys, I don't know if I had a video of it, but this is the swing that we had in my yard. On the tree. But can't do that anymore, obviously, because the tree fell over. I don't know what happened over there. I heard a noise. I don't know if you guys could hurt, or if you guys heard it. But yeah, something else fell over there. I don't know what did. Oh, I think I see what it is. Let's see if I could zoom. It might have been that branch right there, off of that tree. But it looks way too small to have been that. So yeah, here's the drain. Step over it. So this is the corner, the very corner of my property where I live. There's the hill. When it rains, all of the rain comes down onto the hill, floods down here, which is why it's really dirty and you see puddles. And yeah, it comes from up there. The rain comes from up there, goes down there, comes from up there, comes down to right where I am, pretty much. Goes through that drain, or just goes straight into this one right here. This is where the drain starts. It goes under under the ground to right here. Under the street, I mean. This is a lot of dirt right there and everything. That's where the drain is. Here, let me go around the fence. This tree wasn't affected at all. It had a good distance away. So then... The water comes over here when it rains, and if it's up here or anything, it comes down. But yeah, that happened. So, and here, the tree, the other smaller tree was in there, 
I don't know if I could like see where it was from here because it's so thick. But yeah, there was the drain. Completely fell onto it. Clogged it up. There's the thick part. Like I said, the thick part fell right onto it. Ooh, actually, this is the fence I was talking about. But yeah, I don't know about the fence if it broke or something. I, that's something I didn't notice either. But yeah. It fell right onto the drain. I'll go over here and show you the other end. It's obviously covered completely, so you can't really see through the other end. Alright, my dad just called telling me to come back up, so that's why it cut right here. But yeah, I jumped over this little fence, and um, see this is the other end of the drain. The water would come through this little hole. Like I said, it's completely covered, so you can't really see to the other end. Yeah, it's totally covered over there. Totally covered over there, but yeah. That's where it goes, the, the road, or the driveway, went over there, and then it was just kind of like pointed right into the, where the truck is. So then we had that, that um, tunnel so that the water would go under it, and then come out through here to where I'm standing, and go through that, go out through that way. And, um, yep. The rain's still coming. Obviously, it's not raining right now, but it's going to be coming the next couple days. So I don't know what it's going to be like in my yard. Probably going to be flooded, like to the brim, with water. But, yep, that's pretty much it. Here, look, this is one of the trees next to the truck, obviously. And then another one, but then the third one was the one that I was showing you. It got crushed halfway. See? It got semi-crushed. Bunch of branches broke off and everything. Well, I didn't notice this, but yeah, that happened. One of the branches just pushed into the ground. <sighs> really sucks. But guess that's just nature so yep I don't know when this is gonna be cleared up obviously I'm gonna help clean it up because it's pretty much oh there's a pipe right here too dang there's a pipe right there that went over the route but um yep I'm obviously gonna help try clean it up because it's right in the driveway and we need that drain for the rain to go through so it's not flooding the whole driveway and the roads and stuff. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you, you big tree, pine tree that I loved. You could see where me and my friends would hack at it with my machete and stuff. Throw throwing knives, throw pine cones at it. Just the base though, obviously. We still expected it, obviously, because it had a swing and it provided us with a giant, like, um, I don't know, canopy, I guess you could say, of shade from the sun. But, yep. It wasn't that. I, it wasn't me and my friends hitting at the, the base of the tree because it uprooted, obviously. So, it wasn't me that did it. It was just the rain and the wind. Still see it's really windy. So here I'll go up there and show you the other end, like to where the rain would go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Tree uprooted, fell on top of my dad's mixer, on top of the drain, and on top of another tree, completely crushing it and blocking, completely crushing the two and blocking the drain. But yeah, like I said, no cars were hurt, no people were hurt. So, those were the only things really affected, luckily. So yeah, there's the other end of the drain. And 
Let me go back up there. I'll show you guys where the water would come out. It's already starting to rain again. It's like sprinkling right now, actually. So yeah, there's where the tree is. Hang on. Let me show you where the drain is. So, the drain was like right there where the tree is. It goes under the road, see? Just, you could imagine the road going right into that truck. And that's where the driveway was. So that's where the tunnel is. It went under the tunnel, I mean over the tunnel, but blocked the drain on the other side. The water comes down through there. the other side, you see right there, out the other side into their, their yard, going in that direction, and I don't know where it goes after that, but yeah, that's pretty much it, so this is Adam Bomb, and sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, I have a few videos coming up, so you could guys, you guys can look forward to that, I don't know when they're going to be up though, maybe, it could be like, within the month or two months or but it also could be like I don't know about a year that's a that's stretching it but maybe like less probably most likely less than six months which is I know it's a really long time but still I still have school this is my last year of school so yeah but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment share my channel whatever. see you guys later